What's up, everyone? Welcome back for the second half of this game. So it's been a pretty close one so far. Loyola with a bit of a lead going into the second half, 21-17. Uh, yeah, still a very close game, so it's been awesome. Yeah, so I know I said earlier uh, last, well, yeah, last week during my recording sessions that I, uh, and this isn't really going to matter much for you guys again because I pre-record all my videos in advance and then, you know, just uh, stockpile them on my, um, on my hard drive and whatnot. So this ain't going to matter much for you guys, uh, but... I said I wasn't going to record sports videos on Mondays anymore, and uh, this week is the exception. I'm actually starting out this week today because I'm actually recording this on a Monday. Um, and the reason for that being was because I thought that I started school today, uh, but the school is actually closed down today, which I didn't realize. So class actually doesn't start until Wednesday because normally I have classes on, or just one class on Monday and Wednesday. Uh, at like, I want to say like 10 or 11 in the morning or some stupid shit like that. I can't remember. Um, which I probably should know that, but you know, eh, whatever. Details, details. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, this, this week is going to be the one exception where I am recording a sports game on a Monday. Uh, as far as school is concerned, so I'm I'm probably just gonna play one of my pick up and play games. It's actually a pick up and play game that I plan on doing every Monday from now on, but instead I'm gonna do that on Wednesday. Uh, and you guys will find out uh, which game that is next time. But yeah, and then tomorrow, hopefully, I will be working on um, my playthrough of Pokemon Sword, unless something stupid happens, because I don't have school on Tuesdays, which is tomorrow at the time I'm recording this. Again, no idea when these videos will get up or when I'll upload them, like at what time in the week or whatever. Can't believe he missed that. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll be working on some Pokemon Sword tomorrow. Actually, I'm close to beating that game, I think. Because I actually just got my last gym badge, which I'm really fucking proud of, because I totally whooped ass, and it was amazing. As is everything that I do, because let's be honest, everything that I do is just by nature fucking amazing. Because anything that has me in it or involves me in any way is automatically fucking amazing. Because I'm just literally that good of a person. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I have had legitimately a lot of fun with that playthrough of Pokemon Sword. That's been really, really fun to put together for you guys. I'm actually close to beating it, so looking forward to that. And I think a lot of you guys will like the next playthrough project that I have planned as well. Uh, the next one that I want to work on. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be very fun, I have a feeling. So It's one that I've kind of wanted to do for a long time, but it's a game that I, until recently, didn't really have access to until I got my hands on the Xbox 360, at least, because the next game I plan on doing is an Xbox 360 one. Uh, as far as, like, my major playthrough projects are concerned. And I don't like to reveal my plans too much ahead of time. Um, I already did reveal what system the game is on that I want to do next for my next playthrough project. Um, obviously the Xbox 360, like I said. That being said, I'm definitely not going to tell you guys what game it is. Because, again, I like to kind of keep that shit a secret. I don't like to reveal my plans. Because you guys never know on any given day what the hell I'm going to do on my YouTube channel. You never know. And I personally feel like that's part of what makes it interesting. It's just, you never know what the hell Multistep is going to do next. Because he just is completely random. And that's what I love about, you know, this YouTube channel of mine multi-step you just never know what the hell kind of shit i'm gonna upload on any given day and i like to keep it that way uh, that being said i do play a pretty wide variety of games you know i always say you know when people ask me you know what kind of video games are you into i tell them hey i play everything from fucking pokemon to mortal kombat you know i play a little bit of everything 
lobs it to the baseline. I don't play a whole lot of, like, tactical strategy games. Whoa, that was kind of an interesting shot. I don't play, like, a whole lot of tactical strategy games. Uh, that's really the only one I can think of that I don't really play a whole lot of. Um, I also don't play a whole lot of first-person shooter games. I play some uh, Black Ops, uh, Black Ops 1, 2, and 3. I play those games. But really, as far as first-person shooters go, that's basically it. I don't play a whole lot of, uh, of uh, first-person shooters. I definitely enjoy them. I just don't play them a whole lot. I really love RPGs, though. JRPGs. Definitely a huge JRPG guy. I'm big into racing games as well. Love racing games. Alright, so it looks like they're taking a timeout. <laughs> Somebody sweeping the floor, floor a little bit there. Uh, but yeah, I like to play all kinds of different games for you guys. I play a whole lot of Super Smash Bros. Because obviously that's my favorite uh, video game series of all time. Is uh, Super Smash Bros. But yeah, I gotta say, I really love the uh, direction that this YouTube channel has been going in. The past uh, several months. It's been fun. Now, it's been a lot of fun recording these HD videos for you guys. You know, things have been going, I feel like, very well ever since I got my uh, professional recording device. I feel like things have been going very well. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos and all that good shit. Because I, I don't know about you guys, but I have had a blast putting these videos together for you guys. With this new, uh, you know, professional quality recording device. I've been recording you know, professional quality videos for about a year now. And uh, there's been a couple of hiccups along the way, and it's definitely not perfect. But I really do love how recording videos with this recording device have gone. It's actually, believe it or not, not only are the videos much better quality than my previous content, like much better quality, not even a question there, but it's actually a lot easier to record videos with this recording method than with my old recording method. Because my old recording method was a serious fucking pain in the ass to set up. I had to get the camera angles just right, and I had to set up a bunch of tubs, and... Oh my god, it was a fucking clusterfuck. It was a pain in the ass. It was a totally, like, just ghetto setup. And so, I decided last year... Yeah, last year, I'm like, you know what? I get a bunch of Christmas money from my dad. I can invest 130 bucks to buy myself a professional recording device. I, I feel like that's well worth the money. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, and I feel like that investment has been easily one of the best things I've bought in the past couple of years. Then again, this, you know, during the latter part of this last past decade, I have really expanded my video game collection a lot. I mean, I've got... And I know I say this a lot just because I love saying it and the thought of this gives me a gigantic erection. But I have nine video game systems and over 400 games now. Which to me is mind-blowing. You know, if you'd gone back in time to like tell me five years ago when I first you know, got my first job... If you went back in time five years ago and told the younger me that someday I would have nine video game systems and over 400 games, you know, within, you know, within five years, I would have looked at you like, what are you fucking nuts? And if you told me that I would be recording professional quality videos by the end of the decade, you know, professional quality YouTube videos by the end of the decade, I would have looked at you and said, yeah, right, that's going to happen. And fucking leprechauns are going to fly out my ass, you know? That's what I would have said. I would have been like, yeah, okay. This person's an idiot. But, lo and behold, here I am. Recording professional quality videos for you guys and loving every goddamn second of it. Been a hell of a fun ride here on YouTube. Been a hell of a fun ride. I've enjoyed, you know, talking with some of you guys down in the comments section. And, uh... Hey, you guys have been very supportive. I also love when I get hate comments, too. You know, even when you guys are not supportive, when you're, you know, 
negative towards me. I, I still enjoy that, too, because I have fun being a smartass. Like, no matter what the problem is, like, that's how I kind of deal with my problems, is I just am a total smartass about, like, everything. Like, every aspect of my life just basically boils down to me being a complete smartass. That's just how I deal with, you know, stupid shit or shit that pisses me off. I'm just like, <laughs> okay, I'm just going to be a smartass because, you know, being alive, you know, living life for me is basically just another game to be played. I view this life as nothing more than just another game to be played. That's why I don't take life very seriously. And I know I probably should take it seriously, you know, because it's my life we're talking about, right? But, you know, if I sit around worrying about every little thing or getting totally pissed off about every little thing, you know, what's the fun in that? You know, I, I like to have fun. I'm a pretty laid-back, relaxed kind of guy. So, you know, if someone's gonna, you know, send me, like, hate comments down in the comment section or some, some shit like that, I use it as an opportunity to have some fun. You know, I, I try to fuck with people as much as I can. Especially people who are like, oh my god, your content sucks, your YouTube videos suck, you're never going to be famous on YouTube or whatever. And it's like, first of all, I'm not trying to be famous on YouTube. I couldn't really give a shit less. Um, you know, I'm not stupid enough to think that I'll ever get famous, you know, by YouTubing or any of that shit. You know, I, I'm not a, you know, I'd like to think I'm not a complete idiot. Granted, I am mostly an idiot, but I'd like to think I'm not a complete idiot. So, <laughs> yeah. But it has been a, just a total blast putting these videos together for you guys ever since I got my HD recording device. It's been, it's been real. Actually, technically, it has not been real because, you know, it's all video games <laughs> when you think about it. But um, it's been really cool. And again, whether you guys hate me or love me, really couldn't give a shit less, to be honest. Trust me, I stopped giving a shit about other people's opinions a long time ago. That being said, I always enjoy making YouTube videos for you guys, and it's just a fucking blast. And for all those of you out there who have supported me and, you know, left encouraging comments and stuff like that left likes on my videos or even just watched my videos you know I just want to say thank you because you guys have been awesome and it's an eight point game. <sighs> it's been a hell of an experience that's for damn sure when I first started YouTube being like seven fucking years ago or some crazy shit like that never Never did I imagine it would turn out like this. Started YouTubing back in 20 fucking 13. And now here I am, some seven fucking years later. And uh, still loving every damn second of it. So, it's been a blast, you guys. It's been a fucking blast. Yep, some stupid kid all those years ago had an idea. Let's upload some YouTube videos. And that same stupid kid is here seven years fucking later. It's God, it's amazing how time flies, isn't it? I mean, fuck, it feels like just yesterday I was in high school, you know? On drumline, having, fr having fun with my buddies on drumline and all that good shit. Now here I am some seven years later in college, about to graduate college, I actually get my fucking associate's degree and be done with that garbage. And, uh, you know, whether it's been good or bad, and trust me, it's been mostly bad, but whether it's been good or bad, I must say it's been a hell of an interesting ride, that's for sure. Uh, but the one thing that has kept me going throughout it all is this YouTube channel, you know? Gives me a reason to wake up in the morning, to be honest. I honestly believe that this is my true calling. This is my, you know, this is why God put me on the earth. I know it sounds kind of stupid, maybe even a little pretentious, but I really do believe that, you know, 
this is why I'm here. I'm here to make some fun YouTube videos for you guys. And this is the... This is the thing in this life that I'm the most passionate about. And I have fun doing this. This is what I want to do. This YouTube channel here, making YouTube videos for you guys, this is what I want to do. And so that's exactly what I am going to do. And I'm going to love it every step of the way. So, you know, most people think, you know, what is their calling? And most people think about a career. But for me, I know this YouTube channel is never going to be a career. But it's what I want to do with the rest of my life. I honestly want to make YouTube videos for you guys for the rest of my life. I honestly couldn't really care less what my job is. You know, or career or whatever. I really couldn't care less. Because this right here, this is what I want to do. And again, it's not a career, but it is what I want to do. Joseph inbounds the ball. The governors are looking to put the nail in the belt. Taylor has picked up his first foul of the game. You know, it's kind of funny when they do those intentional fouls because it looks like they're trying to hug the other guy. <laughs> Just kind of funny. Uh, good times. But yeah, honestly, I have really enjoyed this YouTube channel. I really love how things are going. You know, with these, um, with this new recording setup of mine and recording all these HD videos. And, uh, really hope you guys have been enjoying it too. You know, again, I've never really cared that much one way or the other whether or not people enjoy my YouTube videos because it's something that I do. I just love the process of making videos and playing video games for you guys. I just love the process. And I know that may sound stupid, but. Honestly, I just, I really love the process. I love the process of making YouTube videos for you guys. It's so much fucking fun. So anyway, I hope you guys have also enjoyed all these videos and stuff. Because I have poured my heart and my soul into making this YouTube channel and making YouTube videos for you guys because this is my heart and my soul. This right here, this YouTube channel is my heart and my soul. Everything that I am, the kind of person that I am, everything that I am passionate about is right here on this YouTube channel. And I just have loved every second of it. It's been truly an amazing experience to watch how, you know, how this YouTube channel has evolved over the years. You know, I mean, when I first started doing videos, I was recording videos on my fucking Nintendo 3DS camera at 240 resolution, which as you guys, if you guys know anything about that, that's pretty terrible quality. And I never even did commentary when I first started my videos for quite some time. For the first couple of years, I did, like, virtually no commentary unless I was playing video games with other people. And, uh, now here I am, you know. I do commentary all the time. Almost. There are some Smash videos that I upload uh, of, like, past replays that I've done that I don't do commentary on. But other than that, I do commentary on pretty much all of my videos, so... Yeah, just really interesting to see how this YouTube channel has evolved over the years. And again, I've just had a fucking blast putting it together for you guys. It's been, again, been a hell of a ride. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy it, as I will continue to enjoy making videos for you guys. It's been awesome. Whew, did a lot of talking this time. <laughs> It looks like AP is going to take home the win as they defeat Loyola. Thanks, Vern, and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's Pontiac Game Changing Performance. 
Basketball is a game of runs, and this contest showed just how important it is to be on the right side of those. The Governors of Austin P exploded on a long scoring run, all triggered by this shot. Once this shot went down, they caught fire and made the game look easy. Thanks, yeah, it was a pretty good game for a while, but AP, Austin P in the end, for college hoops on just sports. made it work. Because they were down at halftime, but they came back to win. It was a pretty close game either way. So, anyway, that'll do it for that one. So stay tuned for the next game, and I'll see you then. Peace out.